Miss Ward, this is your former boyfriend, and you have one child together who is how old? Uh, he's going to be one next month. Mr. Enright has two other children, two other sons. A son and a daughter. Who live with you? Yes, ma'am. You have custody of them? Yes, Your Honor. Full time? Full time. For how long? For the last three years. So when you and Miss Ward were involved, you already had the children living with you? Yes, Your Honor. And you were living where? We were living in Fontana. Who was we? Amanda and I, with the, the, uh, my two kids. Okay. How long were you and Miss Ward living together? We were living together for approximately six months. I'm talking about, you've had your children for three years. You've had custody of your children, according to you, for three years. That was before you and Miss Ward lived together? Yes, Your Honor. And where were you and your two children living? We were living in Fontana. In what kind of premises? In a four-bedroom house. Just you and the two children? And I had one other roommate. Not a romantic interest? Not a romantic interest so at all. So you, a roommate, and your two children? Yes, Your Honor. How long did you live in that situation? Uh, about two years. And from that situation, where did you go? Amanda and I had, she had moved in over there in the Fontana house. So she moved in with you? Yes, Your Honor. With the roommate and your two children? Yes. So far, we're in agreement? Yes, Your Honor. And it was from that then she became pregnant. Yes. And where did you move from there? From there, we went to Rancho Cucamonga. Is that where you lived when she had the baby and you broke up? We were in the Fontana house for about a month after she had the baby. The Damien was born in April. Shortly, we moved in May. And you stayed there? Yes. So prior to that, you had a situation where everything was copacetic yes. before Amanda and the new baby with your two children in a home. Yes. Perfect. Now I've set it up. It would be fair to say that Amanda and you maybe wanted some more privacy without the roommate. Yeah, I let her know that we're taken off, we have the baby, and we need to be alone at that point. We had moved out. The roommate had gone her own way. Yeah. Let's start with Mr. Ward, who is Amanda's grandfather, who is going to tell me that he made a loan to you. It was never a loan. He is going to tell me that he made a loan to you in order to move into this new place in Rancho Cucamonga, right? He's going to tell me that he made a loan to you for first month's rent and security. I know that you deny that. Mr. Ward is going to try to convince me, sir, Yes, which is not going to be easy. I want you to know that I have grandchildren, and now I got the lay of the land of this case. So I want you to tell me, as skeptical as I am, that you made a loan to Mr. Enright for first, last, and security of $4,800? $4,800. I'm listening. Okay. On uh, April uh, 22nd, uh, he, he had asked me if... Just a second. Was he at your home? Were you in their home? He was in my home. And where was your granddaughter? She wasn't in the room. Was she in your home? She was in her home. And was your new great-grandchild at home, in your home, with his mother? Yes. Okay, so now you had your granddaughter, her baby, I assume your first great-grandchild? First great-grandchild. And her boyfriend. Yes. Not her husband. Yes. Her boyfriend. Her boyfriend. And so now he is in a room, according to you, alone with you. Yes. Amanda is where? I would imagine upstairs. She's someplace else. Yes. And he came to you and said... Yeah, asked me, uh, uh, they found a house, and uh, it was $2,400 a month, and he didn't have the money at the time, and if, he would, if I would loan him $4,800 for the first and the last month. And I, at the time, I told him, yeah, sure, you know. And where was gonna... your granddaughter? Did you ever discuss it with her? No. Was she working? Uh, yes. She was working? Yes. What kind of work was she doing? At the time, uh, warehouse work, I believe. And mm -hmm. who was watching the baby? My wife. And did she continue to work? Yes. And what kind of work did the boyfriend do? Plumber. Now, so you had two working people. Why in the world would you make a loan, if I believe this story, which I don't? Why in the world would you make a loan to him when he's not related to you at all? They're not even married. You have a granddaughter who's working, who's a working person. Yeah. Right? Well, she was making a uh, minimum wage, and uh, what, they, what they were doing is uh, they were moving into a bigger and better house. 